privacy. Getting your privacy right with your zero token is critical. Uh, and there are a few aspects to that. First aspect to that is privacy rules. And there is no requirement at any point for anyone on the UI to ever see into the zero orgs table or the zero logs table. You might want them to be able to see into the zero tenants table because maybe you want to show the users on the bubble on the front end you know, what, what is in the tenants table to the tenant but there is no reason ever so in here privacy rules and zero auth table i've called it private private and i've said when this zero auth is this zero auth so whenever always nothing can be seen and then similarly here when this zero logs is zero logs nothing can be seen zero tenant is different because we may want the users on the front end to be able to see it and I've said if the creator is the current user you can see the tenant I mean these are very this is very basic but at a very minimum you want your ze because the zero logs table you might be logging something like the auth token you don't want everyone to see it so that's step one lock down your privacy rules step two is uh, on the back end your back-end workflows basically you because we we want to be absolutely sure that our that the uh, auth token is never exposed on the front end and the way to do that is to use back-end workflows so in our back-end workflows here are, here are some here uh, these ones uh, this one this one is like an API call, get tenants, and you'd, you'd implement a lot of these. You'd copy this pattern and you'd implement a lot of these. This is the actual meat of your application, grabbing, updating zero details, getting stuff out of zero. These two are just to do with authentication. Um, so um, when you uh, do, we'll just talk about, uh, talk about security in the context of authentication. So we log in and create a new thing in our zero auth table which we'll never be able to read we call the never be able to read from the front end we'll only be able to read be able to read it on the back end workflows we go connect we open up external website so all of this has happened on the front end and but nothing in here is is confidential uh, the client id and the client secret is but they are dealt with and held privately because they are held as secrets within the plugin so these are these are very secret as well um, and they're by design of bubble that they're kept secret by plugin values by both by being them plugin config values so uh, but when we for example uh, refreshing the token uh, we don't this one here is processing the token we don't want to expose it as a public workflow because we don't need to show it on the internet uh, and we go ignore privacy rules w when it's running and then it can be run with authentication. And we do the similar thing here. Uh, so uh, we can run it without authentication and we can do all the privacy rules. So what this means is when the, uh, it means because we can run without privacy rules, it is permitted to do the search on the auth table that is why we need this run without privacy rules so this when knowing that this thing can only be run in certain circumstances it can actually uh, it can run and get into the privacy rules uh, get into the uh, or, uh, auth token table fine so that's why we need that and then um, what is happening is on the zero auth is when this page is loaded going to process token uh, and it ignores the privacy rules that are running on here and we edit the workflow and we're back into the backend workflows and we go through this loop so uh, this that's that's the um, that by using backend workflows we're able to ignore privacy rules uh, and by using backend workflows we know that they're never being exposed on the browser and that's the security story